Dear parents, welcome to our series on early childhood education. A lot of parents have reached out to us with their concerns and questions about early education, particularly in the present uncertain times. Through this series, we will attempt to answer some of these questions. Before I get down to talking about how to choose a school for your child, it is also important to appreciate how critical early years education is for children. The first six years of a child's life are critical for the development of the human brain. We know from extensive research that 90% of the human brain develops in the first six years of a child's life. So what is it that triggers the development of the brain? While the genes that the children are born with provide the basic blueprint, it is the experiences and the interactions that the children have in their life that shape the brain. So the brain is effectively an outcome of the interactive influence of the genes on one hand and the experiences in the child's life. Hence the importance of a plethora of rich experiences in a child's life. While we could give you a long list that you could refer to while choosing a school for your child, but there are a few non-negotiables. And today we'll share with you those three non-negotiables that must be kept in mind while choosing a school for your child. The first non-negotiable, will the school make my child feel secure and safe physically, emotionally and socially? Very critical that the safety and hygiene measures are not compromised upon by the school. At the same time, the children must be respected and cared for. That is where the emotional security will come from. And social security, generally small group settings work well because children get a chance to get a sense of belonging in that small group. Second important parameter to check out for is choice, voice and ownership of their learning. Does the school encourage children to make informed choices? Does the school give enough opportunities for children to voice their opinion? Are there multiple engagements planned intentionally which give an opportunity for children to express themselves? And only when the children have the right voice, choice, will they take ownership of their learning. The third very important factor to look out for is foundational literacy and numeracy. Foundational literacy and numeracy is not just knowing the alphabet or the numbers. It is what lays the foundation for all the future learning experiences that the children have. How are the children engaging with the materials? How are the children engaging with the learning processes? Does the school create enough opportunities so that the child is actively engaged at all points of time? I do hope this brief session will help you make an informed choice about your child's education.